check, check. Check, 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 check. Check closet. Check my dad's closet. Check, check, check. Daddy, 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 daddy. Check my dad's closet. I think I'm low. Uncle, uncle, stop. Okay. What? That's a little heavy. No, I'm just saying stop turning the thing. Yeah, yeah. That's all I meant. He's trying to save it. trying to save it now. I'm serious. Okay. Anyway, welcome back to the basement yard. Why is my thing always fucked up? Hey man, you do what you do over there. With That's your not mic. true. I always make sure this thing's always all squiggly dibbly over here. I'm not sure what that means. Remember that song uh, with uh, Barrington Levy and Shine? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I you do, remember I do. that song, right? Bad Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Barrington Levy and Shine. That sounds like a fucking. Are you Are you making me louder? No, I'm. Uh, I'm four. No, no, I'm four. Oh, you're four. Oh yeah, shit, you're, you're one, bro. Damn, I'm the one. That's good. I'm the one. I'm the one. That's a nice shirt you have on there. Thank you, sir. It's a new merch. New merch. Here's why, and here's why, and here's why. Uh, Danny, I think at first you were kind of fighting the fact that you're like, I don't say it that much. But now it's just like, it's so obvious. So many people have caught on to me. So it's like, you know, yeah. I can't hide anymore. You can't hide. You're just out there open in the open. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just wanted to be me. And I, and I feel like the best way for me to be me was to make a sh- monetize a shirt, you know? <laughs> Best way to beat me is to just uh, slap money on it. Yeah, why not? I mean, you know what I mean. You guys can go check those out at thesanagatastore.com. Go cop yours. There's a link in the description, right? I the think video? I don't know. I'll I, that's my job. I'll check. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. goes on. Over no, there. there is, there is. I hope the show's going well because I don't know. The show's doing pretty good, actually. <laughs> We're doing all right. We're doing yeah, all right. No. The show's doing great. Do you ever like when people ask you like how stuff's going? Do you hate saying how stuff's going? Uh no, I don't mind I do. that. I, I do. I don't mind that. I hate when people ask me what I do. Yeah, me too. What do you say? Uh, it's I, easy for you to say it. I just say I'm in entertainment. Oh, you could be like, oh, I'm an editor. I, I I'm a producer for this podcast. I used to say that, but then they'd be like, what do you produce? And then I'm like, a podcast. And they're like, oh. And then I'm like, what the fuck you mean? Oh, yeah, you mean everybody has a bitch? fucking podcast now. You fucking got hundreds of thousands of listeners. You fucking horse. Yeah, fuck you, you fucking bitch, or your shih tzu. It was a bitch with a shih tzu? Yeah, she had a shih tzu. I'll never forget her old fucking dumb face. Wait, you were talking about an old woman with a shih tzu? Yeah, at the dog park. Oh. You know you chatted up at dog parks. Yeah, I hate talking to people with the... Yo, the dog conversation is one of the worst conversations you can have with a person. Where it's like, you, your two dogs like meet each other, and now you have to talk to this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old is he? How big is he? That's, yeah, it's nice. Do you believe in dog play dates? I, I, I like it. I don't. I mean, I, what do you mean believe? Like, in if it? somebody was like, "Hey, we should like have a play date, like where our dogs like will come and hang out." I'm like, I don't really want to do that. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with the dogs. I th- I just think it's weird. If a girl was like, "Our dog should have a play date," I'd be like, "Oh, I'm about to fuck this bitch." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, like, it's why? never been in that instance. It's been like old men. Hmm. An old man is yeah. asking you for a play Not date. Not an old man, but he was like a, a few years, like maybe forty. Is he a priest? No, I don't know. I, he might have been. He might have been a gay gentleman. I just don't want to go out there on a out there. Yeah. And say this man was trying to suck my, you know, my, that thing. my genitalia. Yeah. You know, yeah. what is genitalia? Is genitalia both male and female? I think it's just the grouping. It's just the grouping. It's the right? genre. Because I would have thought like it'd be Spanish, like females would be like genitalia, and ours would be genitals. Or genitalio. Genitalia. <laughs> like Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Italian names. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. I, I I mean, hey, I don't make up the words here. Yeah. I think so. genitalia sounds more feminine, though. Genitalia? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's why I think we made dick, because dick is just like a rough, like, dick. Yeah, it's definitely rough. My cock is just very, like... Imagine you had a rough penis. Like, <laughs> sandpaper-esque. No. That'd be awful. Like a matchbook. Well, every time you jerk off, there's smoke. Not smoke, but like, you know... Okay. It was, you, you ever rub sandpaper, there's smoke. Well... Not like is it, is it sandpaper on the side of matches? No, 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 no. That's a, mm, I don't know, f- 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 a flint. I know what a flint is. Is that fire related? A flint? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. It's okay. Like all right. A, all right. I'm not far off. Yeah, I don't know what that is though. No. I feel like we should know this. I feel like we know it, but we don't know it. I hate bad matches. A matchbook? Like yeah, like bad matches that like they they either break or they don't stay lit for too long i don't know you like or is it you who collects matches i like matches yeah why because i i like them for my bathroom 
just for your poops. Yeah, I think I think I think. So then, what's the point? I of think having it's a, different one. No, it's just like listen. I know everyone thinks we all we do is talk about poop on the show sometimes, and I just want to say yes. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just. I have OCD with my hands sometimes. Like you see how there's two dots right here. No. You can't see them, but I'm making a perfect figure eight around them. Okay. When I used to be a kid, I used to put my hand out the window of the car. And you know when you would make it go like this? So like the wind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then straighten it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still do that. I still do that. But what I would do was, is every time I would go buy a car, I would outline the car with my hand. (laughs) Yeah. So like if a car came up, I would go under the tires, wait for the next one, go under the tires, and keep doing that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had your work cut out if, you, if there was like an eighteen wheeler. Yeah, it was. It was a while. It was a while. You're out there going crazy. <laughs> I was over shaking there. the shit out of my hand. But yeah. yeah, I used to do that all the time. You know what I used to do? And this is kind of like weird that I'm saying it now. It's very like Jeffrey Dahmer of me. But uh, <laughs> where could this go? Yeah, I used to pretend that the handle, like, is in the back seat. I used to pretend the handle was like a joystick that had rockets, and I would shoot other cars. That's cool though. Yeah, I mean, I was killing people on the highway. You know what was weird? Cars that had those seats that faced backwards in the back, and you'd stuff small children back there. What? You know, like... Like a horse and carriage? No, yeah, like in the back of old station wagons, there used to be a pop-up where there'd be two seats in the back, and you would face looking out the back window of the car. Why do I not remember this? You don't remember those kind of cars? Remember, Maybe. you never seen like movies where kids were like, pew, pew, like shooting at people there? Yeah, I was shooting rockets, but yeah. not that way. You were, shoot, you were shooting them forward. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't see you coming. <laughs> no, but that's what uh, I used to do as a kid. They couldn't see you coming. <laughs> Maybe I'm making that up because we just had such a big family, but I, I don't know. I don't know. But also, you remember those cars that used to have just a bench in the front? No, I never. I don't remember a car bench. Well, no, no. But like, <laughs> I never had one either. But you like, could you sit know those... on it? No, no, no. Like, wait, you don't know what I'm talking about? I've never seen a car equipped with a bench. Like a like an old <laughs> car would have just one seat across. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That I thought you were talking on the front of the car, like on the fucking on the hood? bumper. There was a bench. What the fuck? And I was like, dude, what the fuck are you talking what about? What is that? It was like no, a no, twisted no. metal car. Yeah, no, yeah, no. My dad it used to have this old Buick. That had Yo, like, dads love Buicks. Yeah, they did. Yo, I feel like whoever drives a Buick like plays a lot of golf. Yeah, yeah, or like owes somebody some money. But like a Buick was like so heavy that it was like turning a boat. Like I remember when I first learned how to drive it, I had to fucking crank the shit out of the steering wheel just go left. Really? Yeah, it was so heavy. Yeah, my dad's van was like that. I learned how to drive in my dad's van that like the brakes like worked like sometimes. Uh, like I would, I almost crashed that car a million times. I used to hate driving in the snow and you would hit the brake and it'd be like, yeah, I was like, no, I'm gonna die. The air was like, you're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm like, I'm gonna die right here. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. There was actually one time that Keith was on the highway with my dad and the brakes just like quit and my dad's slamming on the brakes and he's scre- and then he's screaming and Keith tells me this story all the time my dad looks at him and he goes we can't stop <laughs> how'd you guys stop he, he braked it I mean hey I wasn't there oh, so I don't shit. know I think he just kind of like you remember in the movie Speed yeah yeah you yeah. gotta keep it above 55 I think he kind of just like eventually like like top out. like topped out a little bit yeah I yeah, guess yeah. so I don't know but you know I, I wasn't there I, there was a time my mom drove me to basketball camp uh huh and I accidentally kicked the car into into gear and rolled down. Neutral. I was just gonna say my your uh, mind's like that too. My story. Oh, we, but we were on the highway, and I kicked her shit into neutral. Oh, and the car was just like, <laughs> and I was like, oh fuck, and I hit it back. That's awesome. Yeah, it was scary. I thought that, the car that was used explode. to scare me so much as a kid. Like if I was like backing up, like like the first year I had my license, I put it. I thought I would put it in reverse, but it'd just be in neutral. It'd just be a scrush. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm going to blow the fucking engine up. Dude, there was one time I would have killed everyone on Northern Boulevard over here because I went to KFC with mm-hmm. Keith to get the double down. The double down. Which, by the way, do you know what that is? Is that the... I don't know if they have it anymore. Is that the double biscuit, double... That's the double biscuit and the double breast, and uh, what else was it? No, no, no. So, I, it, well, it was kind of... Nah, there was two biscuits. I know it was but double this, biscuit. It was a sandwich, right? And instead of bread, it was just fried chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then there was cheese and some special sauce, sauce, sauce in the middle of it. I don't know. 
in the middle of it and yeah. it was disgusting and gross and it would make you like shit blood but like it was so good on the way in that you dealt with the way out um but we went to kfc and i was at the window and i was like a little far away so she goes to hand me my food and i just get up like this and kind of like stretch my leg at the same time and as soon as my hand touched the bag my foot hit the hit the gas like all the way down Dude, the sound it made oh, man. was so loud. And it's Florida. I thought I I thought my car was like all fucked. It was my mom's car too. If that car was in like if I was just holding the brake and did that, I would have drove out and fucking murdered tons of people <laughs> and then got hit by three different lanes of traffic. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool though. No. Nope. You would have lived. Why? Come on. In your in your story. In I my scenario, lived? you would have lived. Yeah, I don't See, know. I don't know if mine was a dream or it really happened. What? I, I don't. I can't remember. You have a story. I have a story, but I can't remember if it was a dream or it really happened. I was very young. Okay. I was very young, and I think me and my brothers were... Me and my brother Michael were in the car, and one of us hit the gear shaft into neutral. Did you say gear shaft? Yeah, that's what they call it. Shift. No, the gear shaft. It's called a shaft, too. Shaft? Yeah. No. Yes. Shift. I think it's called gear shaft. A shaft, like an elevator shaft. It's it, it's called a gear shaft. It's not a gear shaft. You know what a shaft is, right? Yeah, it's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's called a gear shaft. It's a gear shift. I think it's called both. I don't. And if it is called both, no one on this side of the Mississippi says it. Yeah, it's called a gear shaft. No, it is. I'm gonna need to see this with my eyes. And also called a drive shift. Who the fuck calls it that? And a drive shaft. They call it a lot of things. Whatever. Stupid. But I don't know if this was real or not. So I'm going to call my dad after this to confirm. But one of us hit it while my dad got out of the car and we rolled down a hill and he had to chase after the car. You didn't hit the brake? Yeah, I didn't know how to do it. I think I was like a baby. Dude. Oh, wow. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, your dad's not going to admit to that. No, no, no. But I think I was like a baby. Oh, one time my mom and dad are arguing. Um, my mom and dad are arguing while they're getting into the car, right? So they put all the kids in the car and they drive away. And my sister Kiana is like, where's Jared? My dad hits the brake and Jared just comes sliding down no. the fucking windshield. No way. Yes. Yes. Like a gallon of milk? Yep. Left him on top of the fucking car and he came sliding down the windshield. How far did they drive? A good ways. Like Three blocks? A good ways. Enough for my sister, who was a couple years older than my brother, because we weren't born yet, but a couple, for her to be like, where's Jared? And my parents were like, oh, shit. My dad stopped the car, and there was Jared just slid right down the fucking windshield. That's fucking crazy. Yo, that's My parents bad. were bad parents. That's a bad parent moment. That's a bad parent They're moment. They're good p parents overall, but they took a hit that day. I remember once I was holding my nephew one time while he was a babe. You dropped that bitch, didn't I you? I dropped him. <laughs> he's uh, fine now actually yeah yeah no he's good what's that actually no 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 no. because he's, ah, he's got one eye but no 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 he just like rips a jewel a lot but like that was your fault that was my fault i think <laughs> i knocked something loose in his head but i remember I literally, how, how high did you, how tall were you i was first of all this is what i don't understand about my family is that they would let me watch children when i was like 10 I was a great babysitter, but okay. I'm 10. Yeah, you're also 10. You know? So you dropped, as a 10-year-old boy, you dropped your nephew. Well, my, my I was on his head. I was in, oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> I was an uncle when I was eight. So I started watching children since then. So like in Spanish, Italian families, it doesn't matter your age. If you can watch, you know, enough. If you can breathe. Yeah, you're going to watch a child. Uh, so... I think when I was watching my nephew, it was, I guess I was around 12 or 13. I want to give myself a little more, a little more age there, but I could have been like 10. So we're watching him. I remember because we're sitting on the couch. And I'm holding him. He's a baby, mm -hmm. like an absolute baby child, like a newborn, like less than a year, maybe a little over a year. So like still in that like toddler, toddler. So I remember we're on the side of the couch and he's like on my chest and I'm watching TV and he's on my chest and I just feel him release from this arm 
just off the side of the couch. And he hits his head on the floor and scorpions and then flips over onto his back. Now he's just a toddler on his back, like laying on his back. And he doesn't cry. So now I'm thinking, baby's dead. He's dead. <laughs> I think he's dead. So now I'm just like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. So dead I pick baby. Up, I pick him up. Me getting frantic, I think, scared him. So, and he started crying. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, oh, my God. Like, like this. And then he had this bump on his head. You get those. You get those when you. But I didn't tell my sister. Ever. So what'd she think? He, she had a fucking tumor? No, no, no. She found out later. And I was like, oh, yeah, we were playing. We were playing, and I, I bopped him on the head a little bit by accident. Dude, does she know the truth now? No, nah, probably not. Sh she'll find out now. That's what I mean. Yeah, I did. I dropped Jesse when he was a baby. Sorry. Got him. <laughs> Man, I've never dropped a baby, but you it, never sounds, dropped a ba yeah, it sounds awesome. Dude, a baby's head hitting the floor is very dense. It's like, poof. Yeah, it's probably like a cannonball. Yeah, I was like, I just dropped a thing. Babies' heads are disgusting. I think babies are disgusting. Yeah, they're gr uh, unanimously they're gross. Yeah. I love when people are like, "Oh my god, isn't he cute?" I'm like, "This isn't a thing yet. Let's give it some time." And I think that babies aren't cute until at least like almost a year and a half. Two oh, years. I'll go like three. You know, like if you don't have any teeth or anything, yeah, and your hair is all weird, you got to be able to like wear an outfit for me to like, yeah, think you're like cute. You, you know? need to fit in like one of those little polos and those elastic jeans. Yeah, like w walk like, a little bit. Walk a little bit. You know, wear those strappy shoes. Now you're cute. Yeah, I don't want to see you just be be gross and drooly and pukey. That's not cute. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big uh, big baby guy. I don't hate babies. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, and I want to have kids one day. Right. But, but for me to look at this kid like a newborn child and be like, "Isn't he cute?" I'd be like, "Or you know what the best is when someone goes, doesn't he have his dad's eyes?" And I'm like. What? I was like, this baby can't even open its eyes yet. It's like, first of all, your dad has brown eyes. Everyone's got fucking brown eyes. Yeah, that's true. God is he has his dad's nose. Where are you seeing this shit? Every baby has the same nose. I just... I, I don't know. like babies. The one thing I love about babies are their feet. Yeah. They got little feet. Yeah. And their toes are like kernels of corn. And yeah. then when you put your pinky in their hand and they go... Yeah, and they grab it. <laughs> Yeah, it's cute. Ooh, I love that shit. It's very cute. <laughs> That's my shit. But I just don't think babies are cute on that level of like, I don't know. I think mixed race babies are the cutest babies. Mm, yeah. Mixed babies are the cutest. You need to be at least two. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you're under a year old, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. You just look like a bald half person. Yeah. You look like a little alien. Yeah. Yeah. Which could be cute to, you know, but, you know, if you're asking... I don't know. Yeah. If you're I, asking I me. I got a big, big baby standard, if apparently. You're, if you're asking me, I'm not really big in the babies. Yes. Yeah, so, yo, so actually, I got to get my laptop because speaking of babies, pregnancy, I have a, a story that I found back. Actually, no, I got uh, an email. Someone sent it in thebasemeyard.com, the contact the show button at the top. Mm -hmm. Someone sent me this link, so I need to talk about it because it's incredible. Sounds good to me. Yeah, but babies are weird. Oh, drop my laptop. I already have it pulled up. Yeah, you're not gonna believe this. This the, is a crazy story, story, or is it a question? Oh no, it's it's a it's a story. It's a real story. Okay. <laughs> All right. The the tie the the headline is oral sex, a knife fight, and then sperm steal impregnated girl. Now, based upon those clues, mm -hmm. what happened here? Okay. Give me the first clue again. Oral sex. Okay, got that. Love knife that. fight. Scared of that. Then sperm still impregnated girl. Okay. So, all right. So they were in a, man, I really want to try and take like a realistic guess here. Go. Okay. And the first one, what was the first one again? Oral sex. Oral sex. All right. So they're in an oral, someone's getting oral sex, right? In like a back alley, right? A guy or a girl? A guy. Is getting sucked. Is getting sucked, right? Okay. And then like a knife fight breaks out. Next to And him. this guy's like, I don't know if I should keep getting sucked on or like, join this fight because like i know people in the fight you know what i'm saying okay so like when it comes down to it he goes you know what i have to join this fight this head's really good but i can't you know be looked at as a bitch on the streets because if you're looked at as a bitch on the streets you know people are gonna you know you're gonna get way less head yeah 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 they're gonna try and have their way with you, you right I mean? so it's like 
So what happened was he joins the fight. He's victorious in the fight. So the girl that was sucking the penis is watching from a safe distance. So he wins the knife fight. He stands victorious over this with this bloody knife. Victorious, mm -hmm. right? And he's fucking screaming, just like chant. Everyone starts chanting and raising their knives at the same time to like, 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 like this. Yeah. And then uh, she is so turned on by it that she has sex with him instead of just sucking his penis. She has sex with him, and she gets pregnant with this warrior's baby. <laughs> with this warrior's baby. Oh, my God. How close was I? It was not far off. I mean, come on. You know? It's about as good as it gets. Uh, no. <laughs> what a ridiculous... Uh... Scenario. I would watch that movie. Oh, I'm horny now. Yeah, Think yeah. About that. Jesus Christ. Nothing hornier than getting sucked in a knife fight. And then killing someone and then fucking? It's hot, if you ask me. Um, who doesn't like danger in head? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. There's twists. Okay. There's twists. I'm, I'm sure. I'll start off with the oral sex. Guy was getting sucked. Okay. Ding, Boom. Ding, 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 ding. Got that right. So, so a girl, uh, you know, actually, she was a little young. I believe she was 15 years old. Okay. <laughs> and she was, uh, you know, sucking her boyfriend, which is fine. Sucking this warrior. It, well, he's not a warrior yet. Okay. Um, but she was... Just before she was stabbed in the abdomen... She had practiced fellatio with her new boyfriend and was caught in the act by her former lover. Oh. And then the fight knife, the knife fight ensued. ensued. So she, she's sucking and then former lover walks in, sees the sucking, pulls out a knife and starts poking motherfuckers. So who got stabbed first, her or the dick or the, or the penis? The guy or the, pe the, the I don't girl? think a penis was stabbed in this story. Oh, so he stabbed her. Yeah, he stabbed her. Jesus. But, um, so here's the twist. Right. Okay. So she got pregnant from, I guess, sperm getting on the knife and being in her body or something like that. Which, hold on, it gets crazier, it gets crazier, it gets crazier. First of all, you came. Yeah, I There's guess. a knife fight. Some people turned on by that. I guess so. This guy must have loved All that. parties lived, I'm hoping, right? Uh, Yeah, everyone's alive. All right. She sent the email? No, no, no. She did not send the email. Oh, she's dead. Oh, no. She's not dead. Are you sure? No. <laughs> no. I, yeah, she's alive. She's alive. She's alive. Okay. Um, But. So not buying that either. I have to. F no, no. She's alive. I promise. <laughs> no, I swear to God. I know this. I know this. I know this. I'm trying to find the part where it's the tw it's the twist because I don't want to say it in a way that's wrong. I promise. I promise she's alive. Okay, okay. Sperm blade. So, in <laughs> sperm blade. In 1988, a 15 year old girl living in the small southern African nation of yes, keep going. Lesotho. Don't know where that is. Uh, came to a local doctor's with all the symptoms of a woman in labor. Here's the part that's insane. But the doctors were quickly puzzled because upon examination, she didn't have a vagina. A woman who was sucking was stabbed and then got pregnant with no vagina. What year was this? 88. I was going to say, is this like Jesus? Yeah, is this, is this the son of God? That's what I thought. Wait, so she had no vagina. First off, how do you not have a vagina? You you don't, ha you just don't have one. It's, but, it's absent. So you just have like a pee hole? Um, inspection of the vulva showed no vagina, only, only a shallow skin dimple. So where was she going, peeps? Out of her shallow skin dip? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you peeps? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure. I don't know. You get stabbed. You got no vagina. 
Couldn't you got a baby though. You got a baby, yeah, but where the ba- uh, C-section probably another stabbing. Well, that's it. Who is this miracle baby? This miracle baby would be uh, 31 years old today. Well, I don't know if uh, it was born. Oh. See, that wasn't in there. Right. Um, but definitely no vagina. And, can, can, uh, you, can you look up, is it possible to not have a vagina and be a no, person? No, no, And They actually said in the, in the thing, it said, uh, that's not like cr- It's uncommon. Crazy. Oh, it's uncommon. I'm about it's, to say. But like, it's, been, it's, it's happened before. Imagine you went home with a girl and was like, listen, I have to tell you something. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, what's up? She's like, I don't have a pussy. I'd be like, whoa, you I'd have be, a dick? Yeah, I'd be like, you have a penis? And she'd be like, no, I just don't have a puss. I'm like, all right, let me see this non-puss because I think you're lying to me now. Yeah, I'd need to see it. Yeah, and then I'd be like, oh my God, you don't have one. You just have one of these shallow skin dimps. Yeah, less work for you. Less work for me. But... Good for her for getting pregnant. Not I, only one boyfriend, but two boyfriends by the age of fifteen. Surviving with no a, vagina and surviving a stabbing too. And it was, yeah, I would not fight over a woman with no vagina. I don't think though. Might have to let her pass. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> this episode is so fucked already. It's I wouldn't crazy. be like, hey man, give my girlfriend back. That doesn't have a puss. You, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm. I, I guess like she was performing oral sex, so she was probably. Like known for that throughout the town, maybe. I don't know. That none of that was in there. I don't there was know. no superlatives attached to her name. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like build a backstory of this person. Yeah. Uh, all I know is that I hope that never happens to me. Where I'm. You don't have a pussy. No. Where I. <laughs> I'm get. I'm. Where I'd be getting. There's so many things in that story I don't want to happen to me. I don't want to date a woman without a vagina. Sorry. I don't want to get stabbed while getting a blowjob. Sorry again. And then I don't want to have to take care of this miracle baby that might not even be mine because I don't even know. Yeah, I think when the, if you get pregnant in the middle of a knife fight, it's kind of up in the air of who the dad There's is. There's so much cum in there. Well... What if he jizzed on the blade? I don't know. Yeah, I still don't understand how that happened. I kind of skimmed through the article. I'm a little... Skeptical? I'm a little skepty. About what? I'm a little skepty about this lady. No, she didn't have a vagina. But if you... <sighs> Maybe it's like... Well, what is a vagina? Sit down, Joe. It's not a urethra, <laughs> you know? No, there's, there's two holes down there. I know. All right? Three if you count the asshole. Well, it's, de- it's definitely down there. Yeah. Why well, did God make are girls our- are girls assholes closer? Yes. Than to the front than ours. Yes, I think so. Well, they're connected right. by that strip. Hmm. What are you talking about? Like it's like I feel like their vaginas and buttholes are kind of connected, kind of. Well, they're not connected. No, but there's a very small. That's what I'm saying. Space. We uh, this- have more distance. Yeah, because we don't have a cooch where our gooches would be our coochies. That's what I mean. Like their theirs is closer in proximity. Absolutely, because they're and ours are, yeah. Our gooch is is where their cooch would be. Would yeah. Yeah. So their sniz is a quarter of an inch away from their bee hole. That yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if that's the exact measurements, but I think I'm right. I just <laughs> I I honestly just looked and I was like, where's the tape measure? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm measuring. Like, I guess men can have longer gooches than others, though. Like, really big boned men? Yeah, no, just like, they just have, like, their balls are closer to their shaft, probably. Like, they're more farther up. I don't know. That's a crazy story. It's just weird that if I lift under my balls and touch my gooch, that's where a vagina is. It's not, it's where a vagina would be. Yeah. There's no vagina there. No. Unless you're... Don't they say like uh, like you have both sex organs when you're in the in the in the thing? In the womb, <laughs> in the thing. And then like you you one day you just choose. No, but how do you? What happens to make you a boy or a girl? He's just gonna roll the dice. No, no, no. Like scientifically, what like what happens? There's know. more like different kind of chromosomes or something. That was a good guess. I think if you have too many chromosomes, you're like slow though. I think I fucked that up. Well, you can, well you didn't say take all of them. No, no, no. That answer, by the way, would get you a D minus. So it's really bad. I don't know. I could be on to something. You're X, not y. on. You're literally not onto anything. X Y. Those are yeah okay. Those are chromosomes, right? Cool. Yes. All right. So if you have Y chromosomes, are the girl ones? 
Now you've lost me. Yeah. And I think X are boy chromosomes? I don't know. I do a lot of editing, so X and Y are just X. It's yeah. like <laughs> where things are, so I don't... This do isn't know, my area of expertise. Do you know how I learned X and Y? The letters? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like the... Um, like longitude and latitude. Okay. Um, well, latitude, I remember because it's like latitude. Like you stretch it out. It goes around, you know? And then you could say long. No, but longitude would be like, it's a long way down. Yeah. But you could say also a long way this way. Too. Yeah. 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 But how, how positive are you that longitude is vertical? Well, I'm 100% sure because that's how the guy taught me. Who's this guy? My teacher. Is longitude he... is because you would yell, it's a long way down. Like, longitude. I'm, good. I'm right. I'll be honest with you. you. You're not sure? No. Okay, I think you are right. Yeah. It's a long way down la la longitude. It's a long way down that's longitude? What, that's what he said. All right. That's some smart. And then the X and Y axis, mm -hmm. the Y is down, and the X is across, X is across, and Y is yelling. Yeah. Yelling, going down. That's how I learned it. That's how things. you learned it? Yeah, that's how I learned it. Isn't it weird how you learn things in like a weird way? And you never forget it, though. Like, you know how to spell Wednesday because Wednesday? Yes. That's how I spell it, too. And I always thought Saturday, like... um why is I hate that it, there's a U in there? Oh, not Saturday, February. F February. Yeah. It doesn't Feb need February. February. No one says that. Nobody says that. Let's get rid of it. It's February. It's February. Throw a W Feb in there. February. February. Yeah. <laughs> or library. 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 I say library. I say library, but I'm trying to say library. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the library. Library. Yeah, I got to go to the library. Yeah, see? L I Berry. Yeah. Yeah, Long Island Berry. That's how I used to remember it. That's how you used to remember it? Yeah. Did Wait, that doesn't help. No, me. I used to the Long Island Bra Re. Ooh, a bra's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. Titties. I'll take that. Do you have anything else like you remember from my school? I remember one like uh oh, I had a story about my school too. Left that. and right. <laughs> Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. No, but like you know, your left, like your left and your right, because when you go like this, this is an L, so this is your left. I hold many L's. Okay. No, but I'm saying. I remember because people would call you a loser. How would that help you with your left and right? I don't know. It's just part of growing up. <laughs> <laughs> How did you learn left and right? How did I learn left and right? My hands. No kidding. But like, what did you do? I when I grew up. I was left-handed, so whatever side my left hand was on, I knew that way was left. Yeah, but, you, what are you, talking about? but you had to learn what was left and what was right. Yeah, my dad taught me. My dad was saying, like... He was just like, that's your left, and that's it. Yeah. There was no, like, fucking little acronym or something? No, I don't think I learned left and right until after I knew what hand I used. Because you got to think about like it. this. But when you're four or five, you're playing, like, t-ball. So you already have a baseball mitt. Yeah. So like that, I always knew like whatever. <laughs> this is my left hand. That's how I knew. Yeah, I guess so. You know, it was all like sports related. Yeah. You know, you know what's weird? People that are like throw with their left hand but kick with their right. Do you do that? I write with my right hand, and I'm left-handed, and I kick with my left. Anything sports related, I'm lefty. Anything house related, I'm righty. House related? Yeah, like a fork I eat with my right hand. Okay. A uh, screwdriver, I'll use my right hand. You yank with the left or right? I yank with my left, please. Don't get crazy. Um, mouse, I use my right. I think everyone uses their right hand for a mouse though, right? Yeah. That's weird. Wait, do they? I do. This would be... this. I, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I don't think I could. I, this would take forever. I don't think there's left-handed mouses. Mace? Mace. Do you remember the fucking iMac ones? I used to hate mouses with balls where you used to have to untwist it oh and my blow on God. the balls. 
to get the dust out of the fucking ball. I hated it. Sometimes I would take the ball out and just throw it back. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'd be playing catch with my. I'd be playing catch with that little magnetized ball. Just like this. My dad used to get so mad. Who the, who the play with the mouse? Where's the ball? I'm like, Dad, Jesus Christ. Yeah, they were actually heavy, so if you dropped them, it was rolling down. Oh, the fucking... yeah. oh, yeah. What color iMac did you have? I had a purple one. I had a... Co- you had a purple one. Yeah, it was like one of the newer ones, because when the first iMacs dropped, it was like... <laughs> what are you rapping at me? What is Yo, it? when the first <laughs> iMacs dropped, one, it was only a red and a blue and a green. But I had purple, and then orange came out. Wait, the whole thing? No, oh, just the, oh, the Apple computers. The iMacs. They weren't a- iMacs. I think they were called that. They were called Apple. They were Macintosh. Apple. Yeah, I think they were called iMacs. I don't th- uh, They might. I think they were called iMacs. Maybe. <laughs> I think they were called... Because <laughs> these aren't called iMacs now. Yes, they are. They still call the iMacs? Yes. You know what I never knew? What's that little square thing? That square computer? What? Um... Like, if you go to buy it at the Apple Store, there's a little spherical one that's like 500 gigs of RAM. I think that's just like a tower or something. But what does that do? I think it's just extra memory that you, like, plug into your iMac. Oh. I don't know. There's no screen. You know what sucks? How Apple never has shit on sale. Fuck you guys. Do they? Never. Yeah. I've never gone in there and been like, hey, what's up? You want last year's model? It's full price. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. like, you guys are fucking cocksuckers Who does that? Yeah And you're never gonna throw in Like a free Like mouse Never ever Nothing cool no, The Apple store has never done Anything for me ever Yeah the genius bar Genius it, bar You got a it, bunch of Fucking assholes yeah, back there they, Yeah They've never done anything To it's me It's like oh my screen's cracked Ah uh, yeah that's not Under the warranty So what does it cover? Uh, You know, system failure. I'm like, so if it turns into a grenade And blows up in my pocket Then you guys are gonna help me out? Yeah. But if I crack the fucking screen? <laughs> It's made of this flimsy glass. Then you can't help me? Yeah, we'll take it to the back. I'm convinced they just go back there and just hang out, drink coffee, and then go, it's fucked. You got to buy a new one. Yeah. Or they just, like, give you a new, you know, like, give you, like, a new screen, and it's, like, maybe under warranty. But, like, every time I go there, I know that they're going to fuck me somehow, and I'm just used to it. What are you going to do? Anyway, I, let I'm me just... get to these ads on my Apple computer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's fully functional at the moment. All right. I do love Apple products, though. If you're watching, send us stuff. Yeah, right. Imagine. Then we'll give you 10% off of something. They're going to send you a whole fucking, like... And what are they going to send you? A keyboard? I'll take it. I'll take a keyboard, too. Fuck it. Um, all right, let's get to the sponsors here. The first one we have is Postmates. Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever, condom delivery. Mm. Ah, that hurt. Damn, you hit what, your funny bone? Whatever, yeah. Whatever delivery you need all year round, all right? Uh, anything you're craving, Postmates can deliver. You just hit them up. You download the app, and you're like, yo, I want this from this place. And then they pick it up. They bring it to your house, and boom, bada, bada, boom, bang. Fire. You know what I'm saying? That is fire flames. Exactly. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Um, if you do the math correctly, that's every day of your <laughs> life. Postmates will bring you whatever you need within the hour. Hell yeah. Okay? Unless you are like asking them to go to some crazy place which i don't even know if that's possible but anyway um for a limited time postmates is giving our listeners 100 dollars of free delivery credit for your first seven days to start your free deliveries download the app and use the code basement uh that's code basement for 100 dollars of free delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the postmates app anything you need anytime you need it postmate postmates postmates that postmates that you know? I postmated the other day. Yeah, if we need like batteries or something, pow, postmates because you know we can't leave. Guess We're how much? In. Mo- guess how much money I paid on delivery? Zero dollars. Zero dollars because I have a hundred dollar credit for the first seven days that I have the app with the code basement. All right. Uh, next, we have stamps.com. Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your post office and service. Yeah. Um, Right to your computer, whether you're a small office sending invoices, an online seller shipping out products, which is what I used to use stamps.com for, uh, is shipping products, and uh, or even a warehouse sending thousands of packages a day. Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. Um, you can use your computer to print U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send. I feel like I'm dancing to this right now. No, you got moves. Um, with stamps.com, you get five cents off every... First class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail. Dude, what? I know. It's pretty crazy. That I didn't know. Yeah. That is a lot of percent off. But I did I did use stamps this weekend. I had to send out a 1099 mm-hmm. and uh, use stamps. There you go. Stamps.com. Uh, it's a no-brainer, saving you time and money. It's no wonder why 
700,000 small businesses already use stamps.com. Um, right now, yes, keep going. You, you'll eventually get there. You can count it. I lost count. Uh, right now, our listeners can get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. That's stamps.com. Type in basement. My sister crushes stamps.com, oh, I'm by sure. the way, because she's always returning things, and it's just like... Or shipping things or whatever. I don't know. You know what's weird? Have you ever returned anything? I've never returned anything. I returned... Um, if it's, like, super expensive, I'll return it, but, like... Yeah, like, I've returned, like... Uh, I got, like, Sonos once and, like, didn't work. I returned that. Well, those are expensive. Yeah. I was like, I spent way too much money on this, and I'm not just going to eat this. I'll be honest, though. If I... Sonos is fire, dude. Yeah. It's dope. Like, the speakers? Yeah. Uh... If I buy like a pair of jeans mm -hmm. or any piece of clothing and it gets to my house and like it doesn't fit, f fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> if any clothing gets to my house and it doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, I will just not do anything. <laughs> You'll just like adapt your body and yeah. be like, all right, I'll just like I'll take, just, uh, I'll take, a, take a little bit off of here. <laughs> We'll be fine. No, I'll just be like, all right, you got me. I'm like that too. I'll just be like, if, so, if, if somebody wears it, I'll give it to them. Or if I get food at a, at a restaurant, I'm not, I'm not sending this back. See, I used to be, oh, I'll send it back. I used to be that guy, but now I'm just like, just eat the food and shut the fuck up. Yeah. What am I? You know, but unless if it, it's dangerously undercooked, like if it's chicken, it's like, dude, this is mad pain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'll do. And then if it's like a super expensive place, mm-hmm. I will, if it doesn't meet my like. You're like, yo, I paid forty dollars. Yeah, this. I'm. I'm not gonna pay forty, fifty dollars for something that I wanted to be cooked a different way. Fuck that. I'm not doing that shit. Fuck it. I just eat stuff. I just no. But oh, the story I wanted to tell you about school. Um. When, no, because uh, we were looking up something. We we saw that dinosaur protest. <laughs> So a, a, a bunch. First of, of all, it wasn't a dinosaur protest. Yes, it was. They went all around a dinosaur and collapsed, and they and they were comparing themselves to dinosaurs, saying, "If we don't do climate change, which I support, don't jump on my asshole, um, we're all going to be extinct, people." Yeah, but when you say dinosaur protest, that means people are like, "No more T Rexes." <laughs> like it, that's not what it is. They went to. I the, hate Triceratops. They went to the to an exhibit, a dinosaur exhibit. exhibit? Whoa. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna pimp your ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you guys got all fucked up. <laughs> Yo, I love his. I like, do was so high on every love, episode of Hit My Ride. He would just ask people like, "Yo, like, what do you like to do? Uh, you know, I, uh, I like fishing. Dog, oh, we put a whole fish tank in your shit. <laughs> it's like we took your car, we extended it, put fifteen hundred gallons of water and eight hundred fish in it." There you go. It's like, how am I supposed to drive this? There was always that like dude with the backwards hat and like the goatee. He'd be like, yeah. what else would put you ride? It's a PlayStation 2. So you can play video games, whatever you want. Yeah, you can play video games while you drive. It's like, it's kind of dangerous, man. Yeah, man. I... <laughs> 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 yo, that show was so good. Like, yo, your shit don't even start, yo. <laughs> He's like, you got to push. And he would always drive off. And I'm like, yo, I'll be back. I love that show. Damn, that was that a show. good show, man. Yeah. But um, yeah, so protesting about dinosaurs, not about dinosaurs. So 300 people, it said? I don't know. All right, so 300 people. It was definitely a crowd. So they all went to this dinosaur exhibit, and then out of nowhere, they just went and died. Yeah. Like, they fake they, died. They pretended to die. And then one guy held up a sign. is like, if you don't believe in climate change, you're helping uh, the human race will be, become extinct. Mm -hmm. I have two thoughts on this. One, that's a lot of people. Two, wait, well, how many? What, like the three hundred people? Like that's a yeah. that's a big commitment. Mm -hmm. How do you know three hundred people just be like, hey, what's up, dude? We're all gonna go here on Thursday and fall down. You well, they ha well, they have like Facebook groups, so I guess. <laughs> what's up, man? You going to that thing tonight? Yeah, I'm falling down. You falling down? Hell yeah! All right, I'll see you there. How are you gonna go down? You go down backwards, or you're gonna go knees first and then hit the floor? I think I'm gonna go one knee and then s to the side. Dramatic death. Dramatic. I'm going to go like I just got shot in both shoulders, like pop, 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 pop. and then go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want it to be a peaceful protest. You don't want to hurt anyone. Exactly. You know? You got to go down slowly. Yeah. And then also, don't you think humans are going to be extinct at some point anyway? Hey, man. Not for me to say. I don't know. It's like... Probably. 
we got to run out of shit someday, right? Right. I just feel like, you know, there's how many people are in this world? Eight billion, nine, seven or it's nine. Eight, I think eight billion. At some point, we're going to run out of cheese. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. At some point, we're going to run out of trees, probably. That's Wait, sad. did you say cheese? Cheese. Oh, they said trees. Uh, no, I said cheese. We're definitely going to run out of cheese. I can't. What are you saying? Cheese? Cheese. Or cheese. Like cheese. cheese like, cheese. like mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Yeah, we're going to run out of that? Yeah. What about trees? I would hope we don't run out of trees. Oh. Yeah, Tre- I think we need those to survive. We need trees to survive, yeah. But here's the thing about that is like, Brontosaurus is used to eat trees. Mm-hmm. So were they down with climate change? See you later. Yeah, that was a really dumb point. How is it dumb? Because they ate the trees. Yeah, they were destroying the trees. They weren't eating trees. They were eating leaves. All I know is were that they I eating the leaves. tree, the bark. Does anything eat trees? Termites. Boom. They they don't like climate change. Where you at, Leo? Did you see that Earth video by Lil Dicky? Yeah. It's terrible. Really? The song is so bad. I mean, for what it is, it's like it's not like a song you'd be like, oh, yo, he goes hard on this shit. Yeah. But it was like, you know. Like, it wasn't entertaining at all to me. Oh, no, I found it entertaining. Did you really? Yeah. I, I thought it was, like, I, catchy. I didn't. I thought it was so bad. I thought it was like a, like a scene from Ice Age. That was a good movie. Ice Age 1 was good. I didn't watch 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they made, like, 7. Too many. Well, you keep making money, you're gonna do it. But yeah, uh, what was it? It was three hundred people at a dinosaur exhibit. Yeah, and they and all like, see, I get protesting. Would you do that? Fuck no! Like, I'm d- afraid to protest. I just feel like I don't care about anything enough. Wait, why are you afraid to protest? Because like it's like it's a commitment, man. What? I'm, I think it's like a commitment to like go out there. And be on the front lines. And be on the front lines, you know? See, I'm just afraid I don't think of I have the, te- I don't, I don't have the balls. Yeah? Yeah. I'm afraid of tear gas. Yeah. I feel like all protests get broken up in a dangerous way. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of protesting. I mean, I, I like protesting. I haven't done it. I'm saying I like the idea of it. I think we sh- people should. Uh, not this one. No. I don't think I, you know. I support protesters. Yeah. From a safe distance. If they, like, are protesting on shit that I, like, right. you know, agree with. But I don't want to be out there holding a sign. I'm no. not great at that. Part. No, 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 no. Like, this is Monday Night Raw, and just, like, I got a sign. Yeah. It says, like, Austin 316. But it's just also, like, there's a lot of marches, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of marches. There's a lot of marches. And it's, like, if it's going to be, like, an equal rights one... You know, like like a women's march. Yeah, yeah. I didn't attend it. Me neither. But my thing is, I still supported it. But like, you know, if you went to like the the women's march, mm-hmm. you should have gone to the Black Lives Matter march too. Then, if you're talking about equal rights, I don't think that's how that works. I think I think that's how it should work. Why do you think if you go to one march, you should go to every march? No, I just think that if you're if it's about equal rights. Yeah. You know, you can't be picky and choosy about who you want rights for. Maybe you got work that day. What about black women? Well, I, I I would say the same for the other. You can go to the Black Lives Matter march and not go to the other marches. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think it works like that. I would like. Of course if, it does. I think if you go to the women's march, you should be in some fully supportive women. And then Black Lives Matter, you should be supporting black women on a march. Yeah, but it doesn't mean like if you don't go, then you don't support. No, I'm not saying that. But that's what I'm saying. It gets tied up once you start protesting. Oh, you think once you dip your foot in, it's like that's what I'm saying. Where in. does it? End? You got to do so them much. all. You got to do them all. Because then people start looking at you like, oh, okay, you'll march for rape, but you won't march for right, whatever, or gay gay rights, right? You know, you'll march for women's, but you won't be at the gay parade, right? March. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because once you enter that arena, it's hard to get out. The protesting arena? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because people are going to look to you like, oh, you did this one. Where are you at? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that's why you don't protest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I don't know. I just like, I. it doesn't, uh, I don't know. See, a part of me also like the, the um, I don't know the right word. I guess ignorant is the word. Is it, is Does protesting do anything? Yeah, it does. Does it? Yeah, it does. But like, my thing is, is like, 
I I understand where you're coming from. Like I understand that train of my, thought. My point is being like people who are, are protesting outside of the White House, right? And let's say there's 300 people. Right. There's a lot more out there in the world, but let's say 300 people show up to the White House and they're protesting against whatever. Yeah. Do you think people in the White House are going? I don't know. They're starting to sway me. Probably not. That's what I mean. But it's just people. It's uh, you know. Exercising a constitutional right. That's yeah, and that's why I like I fully support protesting, right? And the idea of protest, but the idiot side of me is like, is this doing anything? right? Well, it, it it's also it also de- also depends on what kind of protest that's going on. Like, I don't consider like breaking windows and like setting shit on fire. Nah, it's a riot. Uh, protesting, I don't. I'm no, sorry, it's not. I don't. I think that's that's silly. No, that's not protesting. Yeah, it's yeah, rioting. Yeah, so like I don't consider that to be like protesting. Sometimes it's, you need a good riot though. Yeah, of course. I have to say, you got to turn up sometimes. Sometimes but you got to throw that chair through that window. But what I'm saying free is free TVs. Yeah, I, I'll take a free TV. See, I would, I would. See, here's the thing. I would be tempted to take a TV. I, I was, would. If I was in the middle of a riot, I'm not gonna throw the brick through the for, through the glass. No. But once that glass is broken. I'm going to take a gander. I'm going to take a, a, a computer. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Fuck Apple, dude. We just talked about how much we hate them. Yeah. No on sale. Boom. No, because I just feel like once you enter that, like, super political realm and, like, protest the realm, can't get out, dude. Mm. Stuck. I don't think you're stuck. I think you're stuck, dude. I don't know. Jesus. You know? It's, 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 it's tough. You got to commit to that shit. Uh, I know. I only know of one person that went to a, a march, um, and they haven't gone to any other one. Yeah. So like they're doing it. I mean, I knew a lot of girls that went to the women's march. Um, yeah. But like, uh, I, I, I I've done like March of Dimes. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's like a it's a charity for I don't know for some man. I should know that. That is such a dumb thing. I just. Uh. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll march for kids, but it was going to come off weird. So I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I, will, I will walk across glass for children. I will walk through fire for child. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know, man. It's like, uh, I feel like protesting is like, well, so like, here, here's my protesting background. We had, we scheduled a walkout um, in high school against the Iraq war. Now, against the war, against like America being in Iraq, they wanted they, the, the 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 protest was that, you know, they didn't agree with it, and they were going to schedule a walkout day to show that they weren't in agreement with the war. Wait, that I'm I'm sorry, I'm all for like raising awareness and doing whatever, but like, why are you walking out on your high school like they have any say in the war? Well, that's the thing. It's like principal. Listen. Principal Davis, stop the war. No, no, but it wasn't it wasn't that. It was to raise awareness, like to be like, we're walking out. Why are you guys walking out? This is why. That's what the protest was. Yeah, but then they just go, Cool. We still have math though, and like we can't change that. No, what happened was is that if you were whatever, you could leave. Okay. And you didn't have to come back to school that day. Right. So it's like a walkout. So like we're walking out. Yeah. So I they were like exercising their right. Yeah, and I exercised my legs and walked home. <laughs> is what I did. You know? Does that make me a scumbag? You didn't care about the war. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> I didn't care about fucking shit. I was 14 years old, 15. Just trying to fuck. I didn't care. Trying to fuck. Yeah, dude. So they were like they were Dude, if somebody said to you you could walk out, b- just be peaceful, you're going to walk out of that bitch. Yeah. I went home and I played Madden. <laughs> What? I'm being honest. I walked out. I'm gonna walk out. Yeah. Nine eleven. I just went home too. I was forced to go home. Yeah. Well, you guys were in the city. I was living in Westchester. They were like, everyone stay here. I was like, I'm out. I just left. Oh, you just walked out? How yeah. old were you? Uh, I was twelve. What age is that? It was two thousand one. It's like seventh grade, eighth grade. Oh yeah, I would have bounced too. Yeah, seven... I'd have been so scared. I'd have been no, like, yeah, a, lo- I'm out. a lot of like. Uh, the eighth and ninth graders walked out. I was cooler with kids like a year older than me. So I was just like, yo, if they're bouncing, I'm bouncing. Fuck that. What are they going to do? Call my mom? 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's like, there's fucking terrorist attack. No, that was just like, yeah, because I was, I remember I called my mom because my cousin died in 9 11. Yeah. But uh, I remember I called her. She was like freaking out. I was like, I'm going home, dude. I was like, I'm not fucking staying here. We didn't know what the hell was going on on 9 11. And actually, I think some people have asked me to talk about 9 11 before, but I don't think I have. No. But um, I was in fourth grade. We've never grade. talked 9 11 on here? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I was in fourth grade. And do you I, remember it like that? Vividly, vividly, every day, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I was in fourth grade, and it started happening like in earlier in the day, obviously. And I was in like my science class, and I'm, I had a class with Frankie all like through yeah. my childhood. So me and Frankie are in the same class, and we're like sitting next to each other. And the phone keeps ringing, and kids keep having to go downstairs. Now we have no idea why, because we don't know what the hell's going on. There was no like TVs or yeah. like cell phones or anything like that. And I was in fourth grade. So, like, eventually it started to become funny to us. Oh, yeah, because you don't know what's going on. Yeah, because the phone's ringing and kids are going downstairs. So we're like, you know, what's going on? Like, what the hell? And then it was just like, when the phone would ring again, it'd be like, oh, it's probably someone else. It's like, oh, yeah, it is another kid. Like, they have to go downstairs. And then we started laughing, right? And then the phone rang one time, and the class started laughing. And then uh, as soon as the teacher hung up, he turned around and was like, you're laughing and there's people dying out there. Oh, yeah, that's bad. To a fourth grade class. Yeah. So now I'm like, yo, what the fuck is happening? Now I'm like terrified, right? And your dad's a fireman too. He was retired at that point, but he was only three years retired. So I was like, I, like, I don't, you know. Right. Whatever. Like my dad has a job, so I don't really see him during the day. You're in fourth grade. You don't know what the fuck happens. Yeah. Um, he retired in 98, but I didn't even know that. Right. You know, you like, just thought like he was still a fireman. I knew he retired, right. but I didn't really know what that meant. Nobody knows what that means when you you're know? in fourth grade. Yeah, exactly. Unless it's like a sports person. Yeah, so then uh, I remember <laughs> being at lunch and some kid, some older kid came up to me and Frankie with a note that had our names on it. He's like, are these, are, are, is this you guys? And we're like, yeah. It's like, all right, your, your mom's picking you up. So Frankie's mom picked up me and, uh, me and Frankie. Then we drove to get Keith and we drove to get Shannon and his sister Jessica because they were really good friends back then. And I, re- I just thought you said Shannon and his sister. I was like, uh, who the fuck is Shannon? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, all right, Shannon. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, I remember that Frankie's little brothers, they're twins, and I think they're two or three years younger than me, and they were in the back seat, and they were crying because they were so scared. Yeah. And I remember one of them being like, we can go to like Uncle Whoever's house because he has like a, an apartment in the basement. And then I remember Smart kids Yeah 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 So then So they were freaking out right And then I just remember Frankie's sister Turning around In the passenger seat And going Nowhere safe Nowhere safe right now And I was like These kids are like In first grade <laughs> Let's scare the shit Out of these <laughs> children Yeah I remember that vividly dude But I remember yeah, being crazy. so scared Because I I thought my dad was dead Because we We got home And we're looking at the TV And we're watching all this shit And I'm like Oh my god I, Like I just knew like Fireman and my dad Yeah 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 You so put I, two and two together Yeah but yeah, the, the next day was actually worse for in, in my experience for me because I mean I I was watching it on TV I wasn't there I wasn't you know whatever yeah but the next day my dad was calling up a bunch of firehouses and he was just finding out that like you know fifty of his friends had died yeah and, and then, he would have died if he was still on it because his company was like in the tower yeah fuck when it like collapsed or whatever or something like that like it, it was it's crazy I, yeah like um my cousin was on the eighty second floor eighty third floor. And uh, when they got down to the lobby, they, they they told them to go back upstairs at one point. They told them to go back up. Go back up? Yeah. After when the first tower got hit. And then when they got down, they told them to go back up. Um, my cousin's phone call is like one of the most famous phone calls like in, like in of 9-11. Um, and where she went back upstairs, I think the plane hit on like the 78th floor or something. So She was above it? She was above it. She had no chance to get out. Yeah. But, um. But it's mad. Like, as I got older, I didn't realize. Because my mom was, like, hysterical. She was like, oh, we can't find Melissa. Like, you know, like, she's not calling home. And then you listen to, like, the fucking phone call. And it's just so sad. Uh, yeah, I can't listen it to It was those. just like, tell my mom I love her. Like, I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. And then she just passes out. And you can hear her, like, like snoring almost. Because she passes out. From the smoke? From the smoke. And then, uh, they obviously, they never found, like, her like right. body or whatever. But, um that's when it was real to me because I was like, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. I was like, yeah. And like my mom was like hysterical. Like they couldn't find her. Um, And another crazy story was my boy's dad worked in the World Trade Center. 
And this was back then, like not everybody had cell like cell phones were down. Yeah. No public transportation. They closed down the city basically. Yeah, like, like the bridges and shit. Yeah. The the wor- the world was closed down. Like in New York. It was closed. So no one heard from this kid's dad at all. So they're like the whole day, they're like, yo, he hasn't called. He's got to be dead. So they're coming to terms like, yo, he might be dead. And they're all standing on this lane in our town. And he just barefoot just comes walking down the lane. He walked all the way home from Manhattan from Manhattan to Westchester County, which wow. is like a 45 minute drive. And it took him like 10 hours to walk home barefoot. Yeah, because nothing was moving. Nothing was moving. Nothing was moving. My girlfriend's dad went to get on the train and he didn't hear about it because obviously there were no smartphones. And he's like, where the fuck is the train? Yeah. So he like calls like his cousin and he's like, yo, what's up? He's like, dude, go home and watch TV. Nobody's going anywhere. Yeah. That was after the first plane hit. You know, like that's the first thing in our lifetimes that's going to be like in history books, really. Which is crazy. Because like that's our kids are going to ask us about that. Yeah. They're going to be like, what's 9-11? And I'm like, oh, shit, dude. We saw the second tower from where we were in Hastings. There's this place called the Waterfront. So when you go to the Waterfront, you can see the George Washington Bridge. You can see the Twin Towers. You can see all that. The shit flew right over Hastings, the plane that hit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just looked like the whole city was on fire. Yeah, it was crazy. And I'll never forget, like, that fucking picture. Like, just like, holy shit. Like, I just remember, and then, like, a lot of cool shit happened after that. Like the Yankees went on like that World Series run, and like the city was like, like coming back together. I remember George Bush threw out that first pitch at Yankee Stadium and shit. Like that shit was crazy. Yeah. Like I, how how New York came together after that. That's why New York City is the best fucking city in the world. Dude. Yeah, and also you remember the untouchable. Con- like we were just like, yo, we're gonna get through this fucking shit. Do you remember the concert? Yeah, at fucking Shea Stadium. No, no, no. Wasn't that it? No, the one at MSG. Oh, the one at, oh, at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, that one. Yo, that one was the greatest. Con- I have it on tape. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, that thing was insane. Like, everyone in the world was there. Yeah. It was like the Who, Billy Joel, and Elton John were up there. And it was like the crowd was all policemen and firefighters yeah. and their families. And they, like, honored everyone. And, like, everyone was uh, who was on stage was always wearing, like, a fireman or, yeah. like, a... It was fire. It was dope. But, uh, yo, that was a crazy time, man. And, like, when I think about it, it was like I was in fourth grade. And a part of me is like, I feel like, thank God I was in fourth grade because I feel like if I was older, it would have had more of an effect on me. Yeah. Like it did. It didn't really hit me really until I saw like how much my mom was crying. I was like, holy shit, like real people are dying. Yeah. That was that, the that's first what's time... weird. It's like, yo, like real people are dying. Like my friends, like. And like, you've probably never saw someone like have heard of someone dying at that point. No, not, yeah. not in, especially in that way. Yeah. Catastro- catastrophic. So it was like. You know, and then, like, when I went to my cousin's memorial, uh, like, her funeral, but it was it was yeah. a memorial. They didn't have any remains of her, but it was, like, and, like, the operator that took her phone call was there. I was like, all right, now this shit is mad real. Yeah, I was like, yeah. this is sad as shit. Yeah. And I remember, like, when I went back to school, I remember... I, I cried a little bit because I remember in the moment I was like that. Like, my buddy came downstairs was like, yo, some idiot flew a fucking plane into the fucking thing. We were like, oh, what idiots? You know, like, yeah, you're, yeah. you're not thinking people are dying. Yeah. You know, people are jumping out of the fucking windows and shit. So, like, dude, on live television. On live television, dude. And, and, like, I remember just being like, yo, this is fucking serious shit. And I remember my dad. I've seen my dad cry really twice, like, on shit. 9 11, he cried because he was like, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. And uh, Sandy Hook, he cried. Yeah. Because he was just like, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. But that was the craziest day. And it's crazy because most of that year, I can't really remember that well. Bits and pieces like girls I kissed or like things I did in the summer that were stupid. But that day, I remember it like it's HD, 1080p in my brain. Like I'll never fucking forget it. Yeah. uh, You know, just a... a, And for you to remember in fourth grade just shows you how lasting... Yeah, of it is. You know I remember I mean? everything from that day. Like I remember all of it. Your poor dad, probably. Jesus, I can't that even imagine first, what he was feeling. That like. That was the first time I saw my dad cry, and that was the first time I ever had heard of anyone dying. I believe. So I, because I'm in fourth grade. Like at that point, like no one in my life had died. No, I didn't know anyone who died. It wasn't you know whatever. It was just something you. 
maybe heard on the news. But again, I was like, my my dad also wouldn't let us watch the news when we were young, because like he was trying to keep you away from that. So I, I had no idea. And then I see people jumping out of buildings on live TV. It's just like, whoa, like this is crazy. And it was it was just insane, dude. Like I I, rem- I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, an actual like a little funny part of this whole thing is I remember it also being this girl's birthday. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and, and you know, like when you're in fourth grade, like you like bake car, uh, bake uh, Cookies. cupcakes. Yeah, yeah. And then the, in our school, like you would bake cupcakes. Yeah. Like for the class, and then the class would write you birthday cards. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no one was writing cards. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you look forward to this day because you're like, oh, it's my birthday. I'm gonna get a bunch of cards. Like I'm. Ba-. And I remember her just like crying and holding her cupcakes, and I'm like, ah. it, this shows you. This shows you how innocent you are as a child because listen because even when i was in seventh grade the night before the yankees were playing the red sox and me my dad and my brother jared and my brother michael and my mom are at the game at 9 10 2001 Mm -hmm. and it got rained out while we were there it just it got postponed roger clemens was pitching that's fire yeah 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 so this is like how fucking far back it is my brother also said something very very strange that day but like I almost don't want to say because I don't want people to think I'm lying. But it was crazy because when well, it was, I need to know. They, well, there was thunder and lightning. It was super light, like boom, like blowing up. And my brother Jared looked at my dad and was like, "Yo, it's like the end of the world." I mean, that's not that crazy. Yeah, I know, but just for like the day before, now it's like yeah, it's just yeah. eerie to think about because it felt like the end of the world that day. Like like the days after, it felt really really bad. There was only two times in my life I've ever felt like that, and that was one of them. And the second time was when this fucking sky <laughs> yeah, turned blue. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I was like, yeah, the, the I was world legitimately is over. hyperventilating that yeah. night. Like, uh, yeah, dude, I was fucking terrified. I was home alone. My whole reality was flipped yeah. upside down. Like, legitimately, my reality, I was unsure of everything. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> We are about to die yeah, man. because aliens have invaded us. Like, like, we made jokes it. all yeah. of our lives about this, and it's happening. Yeah, I know. I still think. So I still think. I'll get to there in a second, but um, this is how innocent it was. I even asked my dad. I said, "You think they'll still play tonight?" Yeah. You know, he probably fucked you up. No, my dad just looked. At, no, because he knew that he just knew in that moment yeah. I was a kid, a kid, and I and he was just like, "Nah, I don't think they're gonna be playing for a while." Yeah, and then I was like, "Oh man!" And now he was just like, "Yeah, I know. I, I, w- don't worry, we'll go next time, like to another game." And yeah. I remember they didn't play baseball for like two weeks. I don't remember like immediately after nine eleven. I only remember nine eleven, and then I remember like the big things after that. Like I, yeah. do, I do remember uh, George Bush throwing out that pitch, and like I think I threw cried. A, threw a heater. Yeah, that guy's a little athlete out threw there. Threw an absolute heater from the from the mound too. Yeah, I I remember that. You know what Jeter said to him when he walked out, right? No. So. George Bush is warming up in the pen and Jeter walks by him and he, and the president's like, Oh, he's like, Hey, Mr. President, whatever this is. And he goes, don't bounce it. They'll boo you. Really? Yeah. He said, he said that to him. He goes, are you going to throw from the mound or throw from where he's like, I'm gonna throw it from the mound. He goes, all right, don't bounce it. They'll boo you. And, and he ran out there. That's so like, great. you know what I mean? And then, and then they lost to the diamondbacks in game seven, which sucked, but. It was kind of cool. They put the city on their back for a little was while. Was that Schilling and Johnson? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. And how that, how that, can you put those two guys on the same I, team? I, I know. God it's, damn yeah, it. yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> was like, Luis Gonzalez on that team? Uh, Yeah, he was the one that hit the fucking walk-off hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I hated his batting stance. Flailing around. It's like this. Yeah, it was very ugly. It was disgusting. He killed it, though. But, um, like, I don't know how I'm going to tell my kids, like, about, like, tragedies. You're not. Like, that's what the school's for, I don't right? think my parents ever taught me anything. Yeah, I think that's what school's for. You learn yeah. about history and whatnot. Yeah. Can it's I just, ask you a question? Yeah. Speaking of history. Mm-hmm. That was my favorite subject in school, by the way. Do you th- do you think we we need to do that? Like, teach history? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. But, like, how far back? I think as far back as the Constitution is, and you need to teach things like slavery and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. that You you need to teach the foundations of this country because people need to know where they came from. I just feel like I learned about so many, like, little things that really have no effect on anything. Yeah, like, I don't give a shit about the Geneva Convention. What is that? I don't know what it is. I don't care. Uh, A treaty? Yeah. No, I don't. But, like, you know, it's like... You should know what happened. You should know what happened, but, but not like. I shouldn't know. I shouldn't have to know what day it was that these two people met, and like when Alex, you know, fucking Alexander Hamilton got shot, and this is why. Like, who gives a shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think in terms of history, 
I think schools should have two history classes: modern history, yeah, and American history, like like ones that are like go all the way back. If you all want the it, fucked up shit, all the fucked up shit, because sooner or later we're gonna have to start teaching these kids tech, technological history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the history of technology, because that's what our whole fucking era lives, is. So yeah. That's what our lives are. Like people are gonna be teaching them about the iPhone and shit. Yeah, which is crazy. To Kids think are gonna be learning how to code soon. And That's what well, they're saying. already they doing. Are. That. They're already doing it. Like as early as first in kindergarten, they're learning that shit. Wow. Like, dude, I didn't even know how to fucking take a shit by myself, let alone fucking. I knew I should in my pants. Yeah, quite often. Not often. But... Okay, I was, I was trying to feel you out. I want to see what kind of pooper you were. No, I was definitely not throwing it around. You like know, that. like, do you think like, uh, like you should teach like. Oh, on this day, JFK got shot. See, the JFK stuff is like, you know, it'd be dope, like a conspiracy class. Yeah, I think I would take that class because it would make me more. It would make me learn more about the actual thing. Did you ever? I uh, was JFK in a thing. What? Uh, we had to pick people in history. Oh my god, funniest fucking story. Funniest fucking story. So, in seventh grade, um, no, in fifth grade, excuse me. In fifth grade, everybody had this history project. It was known throughout the school. Every year did it when you reached fifth grade. You picked a historical figure, and you did a presentation of you as them. So my brother did Michael Jordan when his fifth grade year was up. Okay. When my fifth grade year was up, I was JFK. What do you mean, I was JFK? You well, chose him? Yeah, I chose JFK. Okay. Um, Because my dad really liked JFK, and he would always talk about him, but... Um, and Michael Jordan, my brother's name is Michael Jordan. So that's why he went that route. And his one kid in this class comes walking in. Who do you think he's dressed as? JFK? Adolf Le Hitler. Oh. To the T. He wore a swastika. He wore a swastika. He wore this. Adolf Hitler. And did a whole thing on him. What parents are letting their fifth grade child walk into a school? Dude, my dad was so mad and so fucking like full of laughter at the same time. He said, I can't believe this fucking kid is Adolf Hitler. Who would let him do that? So the kid walked in as Adolf Hitler. Did he like hail and like, yeah, he, did the, he did the whole thing. He did the whole fucking thing. Yeah, it's crazy. They used to say like Adolf Hitler would get boners when he would give speeches. There are a lot of boner pictures. I've seen those. Are they real? Oh, I don't know. Can you get I think so. can you get so hyped up that you get a boner? I think so. Like when you get a adrenaline rush. Yeah, like, I guess so. There are oh, there've been fighters with like boners, like at weigh-ins. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> fighters with boners. <laughs> like, <laughs> like let's go! I'm like that guy's got a hard penis. This guy's really excited to be yeah. here. If you had to pick a historical figure to do, uh. Essay on right now. Who would you pick? Albert Einstein. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. But he also he had to flee Nazi Germany. So you and that kid could have fucking did a fucking tandem <laughs> one right there. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, I don't really know much about Albert Einstein, but there are times where I, I always latch on to random figures and like want to learn so much about them. Yeah, I, I have moments where I just I care only about this person for a period of time. I got really into JFK at one point. Yeah, me too. And like the whole conspiracy. Oh like, yeah, where the, the shot of everything. Do you like think there? Do you think there were multiple shooters? I believe that there were multiple shooters. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I think that what they're telling you, where the bullet kind of redirected and hit ten people. Yeah. Like, what is this yeah. fucking? Now I think the mob killed them. I think the mob put the hit out on them. I don't know. You know. That's just what I think. And they gave, gave him the old. Let the record show that he is alone on that thought. I am not. <laughs> I am not saying that. No, but it's weird. It's 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 weird that our parents live through that type of shit, like Vietnam. An assassination. Yo, we're pussies, bro. Like besides nine eleven, like that was like obviously, that's crazy. I mean, we had the housing market thing. Yeah, yeah, but like, yo, like World War Two, and then like yeah. Vietnam and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? Bro, imagine, draft. imagine getting a letter in the mail just being like, hey, Joe, pack your bag. You're going to go die now. Yeah. And then when you come back, you're going to be nuts. You're going to be Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. It's crazy. When I really What'd you call him? <laughs> Don't call him stupid. 
We've done Lieutenant Dan on this yeah, show. Yeah, I love Gary Sinise, man. He's oh, dead. Yeah. What, what did you say, you whore? <laughs> <laughs> Guy's always biting a cigarette. Yeah, he is. I like, love your fucking Lieutenant Dan so much. I think, you think look- I'm going to be calling you captain. No, sir. Yeah, but no. Lieutenant Dan, ice cream. <laughs> Yo, we've touched on so much shit this fucking episode. Yo, it went so many different places. It's insane. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, what do you, what what are your thoughts about the history? Do you think do you th- how far do you think back do you think we should go? I don't know. Like 1776 and then forward. See, I think it's important to highlight things. Yeah. I just think that a lot of the history I took, like I feel like there was one major thing that happened this year. In a specific year. Right. And like that we should learn about. And then there was like also like five more chapters on and the this same is what year. And this is like, what happened. And I was like, this is, I don't even know what happened. No. Let me know the 13 colonies. Let me know that all the first presidents were pieces of shit and they all had syphilis Yeah, or but they don't tell you that either as a kid. They're like, this guy was the president. And then I'm like, 10 years later, I'm like, this guy had a whole bunch of slaves. Yeah, this guy owned people. But like, like, it was the times. And he, no, I and don't he care. Raped, and he raped, and he wore wigs. Yeah. Dude, first of all, the first presidents of the United States are so confusing. I know. They had like 18 layers. <laughs> They're wearing like a petticoat. Draft, they dress like half a woman. They yeah. wear wigs and shit, put makeup on, own people, and then rape women. If that's not the most confusing, that's the last person I would listen to. I know. That's our president? Yeah. No wonder this country was a psychotic place to live. <laughs> you got a fucking clown up there who owns people, wear makeup, wearing wigs and 15 layers, and boots made out of fucking wood and wooden teeth. Yeah. Their teeth were wooden. Riding a horse. Yeah. That is someone you're going to listen to? Fuck that guy. If yeah. that guy existed today, we'd be like, someone shoot him. He's not, And no one would vote for him. All of those are symptoms of a psychotic man. Yeah. I mean, Get him out of here. I'm not going to touch that one. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. No, it is. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I, it's, I know where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, I mean, it's a little less crazy. It's a little less, for sure. Absolutely. This guy, though. But, like, you know, but it's also weird that, like, oh, our country's at war? Okay, the president fights. <laughs> Dude, imagine being this- been at war and the president's just like going like, like fucking out there shooting too. Everything back then was so dumb. I know. Even the wars. Can you well, imagine being this Dude, guy? Dude, our country fought each other once <laughs> over the right to keep people like pets and make them do work. This- we fought over that. Yeah. Yeah. In this country. Yeah. We fought over that and people, we killed each other for that. Dude, it's insane it's when just, you really think about yeah, it. Yeah, that happened. That was real. And our president had wooden teeth. Yeah. Have no teeth instead. I know. I know. That's always... I always think about that, too. Like, if you think about, like, old movies, like, when you watch, like... What's that movie with Heath Ledger? When like, he's, like, A Knight's Tale? Oh, yeah. Like, back then, like... There was no way people were that good looking back then. I'm sorry. No, they were hideous. They were disgusting. No one. Vile, Shower, vile who people. Who doesn't have teeth? Who's fucking? That's what I'm saying. If it, like, if you were royalty, like you showered like once a month. Yeah, and it was like sick. And it was like awesome. And with no soap. Think just about just run water over. Think you. about how dirty like your penis and puss were. I know. There's probably UTIs all over the goddamn place. That's what I'm saying. The fucking plague and shit. It's insane. Live in a castle. That's pretty dope, though. It's probably freezing, though. Yeah. Well, the, the insulation in there has got to be awful. No central air? No, nah, it's terrible. It's probably like a, you open a window, it's like a crazy jet stream. Did you ever think that you could be like... Do, all right, let me ask you this. We we talked about this w- at one point, and people actually gave us a backlash for this. Cannot wait to talk about it then. Um, kings and queens. Oh. Do you think that there should still be kings Dude, and queens? what are we doing? I know. Kings and queens? Yeah. What are we doing? You're wearing a crown. You're playing dress up. Put the crown down. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And I get it. I know. I know you're different. It's a, it's a tradition. Different it's a tradition. It's a tradition. I'm not shitting on the queen. All I'm saying is, queen. Yeah. Is like that's like saying that the president is a pharaoh. Right. It's like it's just an outdated thing to say. Yeah, it is. You know that's that. 
in theory, so a president is a pharaoh. He rules whatever. Tech, like you know, not rules, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But we don't call him a pharaoh. No, because he's not a pharaoh. Right. He doesn't stand on a fucking <laughs> pyramid and do this to hundreds of thousands of people, <laughs> slaves. Hear, and, my, hear my words. Yeah, and like paint his body gold. Like that yeah. does he doesn't do that. No. You know the queen? Maybe she's just like a president. She's like way. a symbol. She's like a she, prime minister or something. I don't yeah, even know yeah. what that is, but like is the queen in there like making like choices and shit? I don't know. Hey, I think she just wears gloves. And then uh <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get something for that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she I, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't it's a monarchy. Right? I don't know. That just sounds like a breed of a bird. I don't even know what that means. The Monarchs. I think that's like a ladies basketball team, I think. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. Dude, but you like, know what's so crazy? What do that? you think's the craziest thing that's ever happened in American history? Literally everything I just said. Right? There was a, a person who was president who dressed the way they dressed. I know. That had slaves that would wear a white wig and makeup. And, and then it? and then everyone was like, "Yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Let's go with him." <laughs> Do you know that? You know what that means? That means we had to have been the dumbest people ever. Oh yeah, of course. And then you also think about it too, like like I said, even about the Civil War, like there were still sides like, "Yeah, we shouldn't have slaves anymore." And then there was a whole other side that was like, "All right, wait a second. How dare you I'm trying to take away our rights?" I was like, nah, this is weird. I don't know how that works. Then they all killed each other. Yeah. And not only that, but that Imagine war. if we went to go fight South Carolina. Us. <laughs> what Me the fuck? That'd be so fucking weird. Yeah. Be like, all right, man. All right. Let's go. Who was the president? Abraham Lincoln. Uh, and did, and did he hold no weight of like, <laughs> can you just be a parent real second, real quick and be like, hey, guys, don't. Hey, relax. Don't do this. I just don't get well the the the, the rebels, <laughs> dude. And also the way that they fought wars back then was so organized. Yeah, and you're jerking off a musket the entire time. How like, the fuck do you end up on that front line? By the way, I'm skipping. I'm going all the way to the yeah, back. Yeah, I'm gonna get sick that day. Hell yeah, I'm not doing that. You're like, all right, ready, go. <laughs> Give me a stick. It's like, dude, you are so dead. Fucking lighting a cannon with like a stick. Also, just being this guy. <laughs> it's like, what is this guy with a drum out here? He can't help us. I've why been... are we? Why do we need music? You just had the drum, didn't you? Why did? Why do we need music on the battlefield? Who's <laughs> listening? Did they shoot the drummers? I'm sure they got popped. Yeah. What do you think? They're all like snipers. People were so weird. Dude, shooting cannons at each other. I know. Cannons. <laughs> you were shooting cannons at each other. Yep. Big ones, too. Giant cannons. And for what? For me to jerk off on my cell phone now? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that uh, listen, like, like, I know like people will be like, yo, like, America sucks, right? Yeah. Like, all right, I hear you. But, like, listen, man, I, I caught up on, like, sports while taking a shit on the toilet today. Like, what are you saying? There's a lot of worse places that you could live than here. Oh yeah, I mean we we've made some strides. We've made some, some, we've, <laughs> we've come a, we've come a long way. We've come a long way, but there's we couldn't have gotten down is what it was you know. So I'm not gonna be like, oh man, we're like yeah. My parents are mixed. We were, we were at the absolute bottom. <laughs> oh yeah. Of like debauchery. Yeah. It was just terrible. So the only way you can go is up. And we've we've come a, a long way. And there was a time like if my parents were like tried to get married like no. 40 years ago. Yeah. Before they got married, probably would have killed one of them. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. Also, you know what's you know what else is crazy to think about because I feel like the world now moves so fast and yeah. it feels like everything was so long ago but it wasn't. Yo, gay dudes just got or and anyone who's gay just got the right to like get married they just became cool isn't that <laughs> <laughs> that's where i thought you were going with that one no, no, like, no. Eh. you thought i was gonna say that Be like, yo gay dudes are like finally like all right you no, know no. What I'm <laughs> no i was gonna say they just got the right to get married isn't that like crazy to think about yeah a, ba a basic human right do you know nuts. what that means that means people are gonna talk about our 
era of life one day of being like, remember when these fucking idiots wouldn't even <laughs> let these people get married? Like, I'm over here being like, yo, this guy wore a white wig, makeup, and uh, rode a horse yeah. backwards or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And, like, my thing is this, too. Like, all right, let me ask you this. This is a tough question. A boy transitions into a girl, right? Yeah. Should they be allowed to play girl sports? I don't care. Right? But what if it? What if the? What if it's like, say, weightlifting, right? Yeah. And she's just shattering records. So, you, you're okay with it? Yeah, because I think that a, a a girl can work up to the point of being as big as a dude. There's plenty of girls out yeah, there. Yeah, Nick Mangold's sister. Stronger than Nick me. Mangold's sister is like it's a, a fucking ass. Yeah, she could like set like PRs. Yeah, but like there's this whole thing about being like transgender oh, and like transgender athletes and like wh- where does it stop and like where do you do where do you draw the line? That, that that's like there's so much like thin bureaucratic tape that's just annoying. I just think that. That is such a small problem. Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, like if uh, the kid plays basketball or not. There's, there's this uh, girl who used to be a guy, and she's wrestling my son and kicking the shit out of my son. <laughs> it's like, well, then tell your son he sucks, and to get better. Like, what does it matter? Or your daughter, or whatever the fuck. I just, uh, I, I don't care. Like, that's what where where we're gonna like draw the line on trans people because of sports. I don't yeah. want to be a part of because of, of wrestling. <laughs> Dude, strap up. Yo, she can only lift because she used to be a dude. I'm just like, all right, who cares? <laughs> dude, I just... Hey, there's so much shit like that. I cannot wait for the comments this week. Yeah, I, yeah you know what it is? <laughs> I, I really... No, I think the comments will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm not, I'm not confident in that. No, no, but, no. I'm uh, not reading them. I don't read them <laughs> anyway, but like for the most part, I'm good. No, I think... Uh, I think when people get so upset about things that have no effect on them whatsoever, it's just so I weird can't to me. Stand it. Like when people were so against gay marriage, it was like, oh man, what's next? A guy's gonna marry a dog, and I'm like, let him marry the dog. Like, yeah, why do I give a shit? Well, he shouldn't fuck the dog though. I didn't say fuck. I said get married. Yeah, but you know, marriage does imply you know honeymoon. You know, a lot of married couples would say it otherwise. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> I will agree with you on that. No, but it's it's like when they go crazy about that. It's, it's like, like oh, also, we like, just can't let this happen. And then also like, it's like uh, all of a sudden they're religious. Like the Bible says, it's like, dude, you've been not yeah. listening to anything. You've been Bible. jerking off for like twelve years, dude. That's not right. You're not supposed to do that either. And the other thing I wanted to say is. Uh, you know, especially now, like, I hate when people become, like, the face of, like, an annoying thing. Like, remember, like, that gun girl? What? Remember that girl? She was like, come and take my guns. She was, like, 16 or, or like, 17. No. So there was this girl who's known as, like, gun girl. And she's, like... Come like, and take my guns? Like, this college girl, that, like, holds guns. She goes to Kent State or something. You just said she was 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it started when she was, like, oh, 16, oh. like a couple years ago. What the fuck was that? I don't know. One of those dinosaurs came out of the exhibit. Yeah, the I think. floor just shook. Um, so apparently she pooped her pants at some party. Oh my god, I did see that video. <laughs> and she's trying to ask people questions. Dude, and the guy's like, <laughs> "Let me ask. Let me ask you a very serious question. Did you shit your pants at that fry party?" She's, she's like, like, "Why are we talking about that?" Like you know, it's like, be careful. How hard you make your stances That's why I'm saying With like the protesting thing I don't know if I can go all in Cause someone's gonna bring up The time that you shit yourself someone's gonna talk about The time I wipe my ass on the floor And I don't know if I'm gonna be able To bring it back in You know what That's I'm saying not, Listen I wipe my ass with a fucking Estranged umbrella <coughs> So I can't do anything Without someone remembering that People from this era Will never be able to be president It's just not possible <laughs> Yeah, probably not. You know what I'm saying? Actually, when you really think about if it, if I could die, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. anyone could be president. <laughs> Some would die, argue. If you dive down the hole deep enough, <clears throat> you're gonna be able to find a picture of that someone's penis and or butt and or butthole or, or just like a, a semi racist tweet. Yeah, or a full blown racist tweet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like you know that was like what's his name, uh, Nick Bosa. His tweet was like. So on the borderline of racist, it was like, oh man, Black Panther is the worst Avenger movie. And you're like, all right, I'm not mad, but I'm starting to look at you. Yeah. I got my eye on you. It's like, all right, why do you hate it so much? Everyone loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, There's only one thing. It's not the Panthers. (laughs) No, no, Uh, no, no, no. no. (laughs) But like, 
yeah, I don't know, man. It's going to be weird, like, when we're 60 and, like, we're voting for people. Oh, I'm not. I'm uh, not. Nah. When I'm 60, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get high every day, <coughs> and just not give a shit about anything. And hopefully, be on like a boat tanning every day, so high. Yeah. Like not caring. Yeah. Hopefully, I get eaten by a whale. Like that's how I go. I just hope I have enough money at that time that like nothing that happens in the world can bother me. <laughs> I mean, like not. No, you don't need to be insanely rich for that to happen. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, but like comfortable enough. It's like, hey, it doesn't matter who's president. I'll be all right. Unless this fucking psycho with fucking eight different pairs of pants comes back. He's got a fucking belt buckle on his hat. <sighs> Those people are fucking weird. What was that whole story about someone chopped down a tree or something? Chopped down the cherry tree. Yeah. Wait, wait. I cannot tell a lie. Yeah. Who's that? Abe Lincoln? No, it was George Washington. George Washington. Yeah. This guy did nothing but chop down a tree. That if Dude. Yeah, but he didn't That's the he didn't, story? But he didn't lie though. He didn't lie about it. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Dude, chopping down a tree and getting away with it is more impressive to me. Yeah. Than chopping down a tree and telling on yourself. I don't give a fuck. Chopping fuck down that guy. Chopping down a tree is an impressive thing in itself. I, I would tell you, you know. Wait, isn't that honest Abe? Oh yeah, it might be honest Abe. So it might have been Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. He was cool though. Cherry tree, right? <laughs> Abe Lincoln I don't was, know, man. Abe Lincoln was cool. Good wrestler, by the way, apparently. Abe Lincoln? Yeah, he was like a, like a really good wrestler. Yeah, it's because they fought like this back then. <laughs> These fucking weirdos. <laughs> like the gangs in New York. Love that. Imagine living in that time. Just everyone gets stabbed. Kill them. Over like a pocket watch. Yeah, and it's like... We are such pussies. Just leave them in the street. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I can't. Uh, I'm getting tired and hungry now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired and hungry as well. Tungry. Tungry. Or uh, Tungary? Hired? Tungarian. Targaryen. Okay. I'm not even going to get into Thrones right now. Yeah. Someone got mad at us. Like, oh my God, fucking spoilers. It's like, dude, it if you're on season two, shit. it's eight, eight years in the making. If yeah, you haven't seen you. season two, then suck my wiener. I tweeted uh, something like about Thor's appearance. Yeah. And people pe- lost it. People gave me shit. Suck my pussy, dude. Yeah, come on, bro. That's not a something. Yeah. That's not something. I mean, it is a little bit of something. It was a, whatever. But we'll, we'll, I don't want to talk yeah, about it anymore. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Danny, where can they find you? You can find me in St. Louis rolling on dubs, smoking on dubs, and at Daniel Priori on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on Instagram. Mm. And go check out the merch, the new merch. Here's why merch. Uh, go to thesanagatostore.com. And also our Patreon. Thank you to our patrons who are uh, supporting us. Um, if you want to become one of those and get every episode a week early and get a an exclusive episode uh, once every month, that's only for that. Um, and some extra bonus content as well. Go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. Patreon spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash the basement yard. And that is all. Oh, and go check out our website, thebasementyard.com. And send us uh, anything you want us to talk about because we've been finding some good shit in there. Oh, yeah. TheBasementYard.com. Uh, the button at the top says contact the show. Hit that shit. All right? And that is all. Get out there and vote. Get out there and vote. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Get in there and protest.